Shalom. <coughs> First and foremost, I give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakudash, the Ba'anas, to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you, Akim, my potent testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. All right, now I wanted to read Psalms, the second chapter. This is verse one. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And who are the heathens, the Gawarium, the other nations, such as the Chinese imagine themselves to be the next rulers, the Russians? You know, these heathens, you know, Pardon me. These other nations perceive that they have some type of stake in the future, but they don't. They don't. They don't consider the prophecies and the will of Yahweh Shai, which is to set the elect of the nation of Israel above all. It says the kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh. So they're trying to fight against the heavenly Father's will. It says, and against his anointed, which his anointed is Yahweh Shai, of course, King David, and the elect, the tabernacle of David, the elect man, <clears throat> saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their courts from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. So when they seek to come in as a flood, <clears throat> when they seek to uh, cut us off, for my power source. And from the earth, they will be checked and chiefly checked in Jehoshaphat, the fertile crescent uh, or the Levant, may I, um, the Middle East. And the Lord is going to gather all nations in that land for our sakes. And there he's going to plead with them. All right, it says, um, verse five, then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. And the king is Jehoshaphat, and the holy hill is the nation of Israel, which, you know, separate is what the term holy means but also more so the elect, <clears throat> the elect of the nation of Israel. Let's see. It says, um, verse 7, I will declare the, the decree Yahweh has said unto me, thou art my son, showing you that, that, that Yahweh Shai is the son of God, and I, Muslims say, and the Quran says that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which they don't use the proper name, they say Allah, which that's not the proper name of the Heavenly Father, is Yahweh. Um, but they say that he doesn't have a son. But we see right here in the book of Psalms, which was written um, almost 1,500 years before the Quran was even conceived, all right, the book of Psalms, of the book, the Psalms of David, who was near to the Most High God's heart, Right, who was his anointed king? I don't know about these other Johnny Come Lately guys, but the legitimate ones was of Jerusalem. All right. It says, um, Hill of Zion, which is Zion, not Mecca, not Medina, no, of Zion, which Zion is the city of David, Jerusalem, which is talking about the people before the place. It says, I will declare the decree. Yahweh has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. For God so loved the world, he gave, he gave his only begotten son. All right, that's John 3rd, chapter 16, verse. This is, this is the, the precept for it, showing you how the Bible is uh, of one essence. This is in the book of Psalms, a thousand years before Yahweh shot came on earth. All right, it says, um, verse 8, 
It says, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. So we're not going to be equal with the nations. We're not going to be under the nations, but above the nations to rule and have dominion over the other nations the same way or even more than as the nations have us in rulership and bondage. And they oppress us, man. <laughs> not for long, man. How about you, man? going to put us in the, uh, a hefty place. He says, um, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the other most parts of the earth for thy possession. And so that includes the lands as well. Verse 9, That thou, and pardon me, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. We're just talking about the elect. All right. Verse 11. Serve you how with fear and rejoice with trembling. It says, kiss the son, lest he be angry. Which That means worship Yahweh, which Yahweh is the son. It says, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him and trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. All right, so then we give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakudash, Dabon, Siddhartha, and Apostle Red Millstone. Salutations to Yaakim. Shalom, keep the faith.